Yeah, the thing that kind of like, you know, gets the butterflies going, the adrenaline and stuff, and for me is like getting out on court and competing. Yeah, so we're starting our grass court season in Hertogenbosch in Holland. And if it goes tits up tomorrow, then we'll be flying back tomorrow night. That's for sure. I don't feel pressure to come and play in this tournament. It's our first week on grass, first week of the new partnership. Like, just because the grass season's so short, you know, you want to get as many matches in ahead of Wimbledon. We're gonna warm up. We managed to get the court for an hour actually, so we can warm up for a decent amount of time, which was pretty good. We have to share with other players, but it doesn't matter. For me, I just to get on grass, because I haven't hit on grass for like, I think since like Wednesday, which is like four, four or five days. So the last 10 days or so, is kind of eating a lot like vegan stuff. It's good, but like I lost weight from it. My like jeans are like starting to fall off, <laughs> and uh, I was like the, the number of calories you're getting in here is like much less. Plus I'm then training on top of that, and then I was like a few days I was like feeling tired, you know. Don't know why I was pretty sure, pretty sure is that. I just gotta be careful when I'm at tournaments because uh, make sure like I'm getting the right amount of food in my system. And Neil Skupski, my new partner, is. 29 years old, I think, from Liverpool. Been playing with his brother Ken for the last sort of five, six years since he finished in, in college in the States. Been doing really well the last sort of year to 18 months. Trained a reasonable amount with Louis. And I think for us, starting a partnership, we'd probably be on the same wavelength with quite a lot of stuff, just because we're trained in that, in that philosophy. New partnership, playing with Jamie now. When the opportunity to play with Jamie, top 10 in the world, multiple Grand Slam winner, came along, I couldn't say no. He's an exciting player, like got some big shots in him, good serve, likes playing up close to the net as well, which I really like in my partner. I'm excited about it again, like new challenge. I think we can be a really successful team on the tour, yeah. Biggest adaptation, not just for Jamie for all the players is for the grass because the bounce is different, slower, and it also you have to prepare your body. Most of people will experience lower back pain because it's a different type of shots and effort. You know, for me, like to get out on court and practice is, you know, because I have that goal of competing in this event next week or in two weeks' time or, th or three weeks. For me, I find it hardest in the off season to like get motivated for practice because there's like five or six weeks until your next event. Mindset wise, I find that I find that quite difficult. I mean, it's tournament week, so Alan he does like full time traveling with me. So we do maybe about twenty five weeks on the road or something. But he lives up in Scotland, so he doesn't train with me like when I'm at home for the week in London. I've known him since I was like six years old or something. So childhood friend, coach, all that stuff. He's got it all going. But uh, like, he's a huge help for me. And like as we get on really well, makes the travelling a lot easier. Probably got about 20 minutes to the match now. Neil and Jamie are just doing their physical warm-up. Talked a little bit about their opponents and what they're going to try and do themselves in the match. And now it's just basically doing their final preparations to feel ready and, and kind of to start strong, which is one of their kind of main goals in the match. It's always a strong start, especially in doubles. It's not really possible to work your way into it because of the scoring system you can be out of the match before you know it so hopefully that'll, that'll pay off good warm-up good mentality and they can go and go and uh, do their thing I guess it's an important week for us like to get out on court together feel each other on the court how we're trying to build up like chemistry and stuff I think that's probably the most important thing for for us obviously the more matches we play the better because it helps us in the development of the partnership, certainly getting you know ahead of ahead of Wimbledon.
stressful to play those tie breaks all the time. Because <laughs> so many matches come down to that. You know, and sometimes like big tournaments on the line, a lot of money on the line as well. Yeah. yeah. Tough match against Garen and Jerry. Got across the line 10-7. It was a good level throughout. But yeah, it's still a, still a new partnership. A few things to be ironed out. And luckily we have a, uh, a day of practice tomorrow to get some stuff sorted out. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the rest of the week and the rest of the grass course season. Yeah, this is me doing my recovery from uh, after the match. Like I said to you before, like my neck is freaking brutal from being like this. So I'm always going to needle it a bit, do a bit of stuff in my back, and then I go stretch and that will bow. So I'll leave a couple up here. I'll okay. just do a trigger point on the traps. Okay. Dry needling, which I've done loads of, but I never watch the needles. I tend to like respond quite well to them, so I do it. And sometimes you know you can get like loads of massage, but you, you know a needle just gets to the point straight away. But you can see like we played the match, which was probably like an hour twenty, hour thirty. But I mean the whole day's basically gone from. You know, we got the shuttle at 10 o'clock. It's now quarter past six. Still, still got to do our stuff. Because ultimately, like, you want to recover as best you can to give yourself the best chance for the next match. Like, I'm sure I'll probably be a bit stiff tomorrow just because it's the first match on grass and you're using different muscles and that. But, you know, we try to do as much of this stuff as we can just to give ourselves the best shot. And that's what I want people to see. Like, I want people to see that you know, I'm, my day starts at nine and I finish at six, even though, you know, they look at the scores online and it says we played for an hour, 20 minutes. You know, there's a lot more that, and there's a lot of people obviously that kind of are part of that whole process. How many salmon avocado rolls do you reckon I've had in my life, mate? <laughs> a few thousand maybe. I was there three weeks US Open. Yeah. And we won the tournament. I had it's all I ate in the courts for three weeks. For sure at least four boxes a day. So you've seen us kind of go about our daily life at a tournament. Got the win today and hopefully that's the sort of beginning of a of a good week for us. Um, and yeah, we'll just keep trying to trying to build the partnership and get it in a position to go and perform well at Wimbledon.